Hi! This week you learned how to take sketch notes with Mrs. Nunes. Today I'm going to read a story and as I read the story you're going to take sketch notes of what you think is important. Just some things to look out for are keywords like this is important or wow that's interesting. When I say words like that, that might be something that you want to sketch out. Today, I will be reading The Grand Canyon, A Trail Through Time, written by Linda Vieria. A pre-dawn storm rumbles over Grand Canyon National Park. Cracks of lightning shatter the dark sky, flashing above enormous plateau of peaks, valleys, and trenches where ancient mountains once stood. The deepest trench is called the Grand Canyon, one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Dawn comes bringing daylight to spires and boots standing like sentries on the plateau, worn down by weathering and erosion. Coyotes teach their pups to hunt for food in thick forests along the edges of the canyon. Thousands of vid visitors from all over the world have come to view the splendor of the Grand Canyon. In campgrounds and lodges near the north and south rims, they prepare for the day's activities. The morning sun climbs above distant mountains, revealing cliffs hanging over the Colorado River at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. The river took almost six million years to carve the canyon, creating a channel about one mile deep and more than 275 miles long. Wind and water wore down its steep sides, widening the chasm between the cliffs. A raven glides across the opening, making lazy circles over the river far below. The sun chases away shadows on the craggy rocks thousands of feet below the rims. Packs of mules begin a five-hour trip down to the deepest part of the canyon. They follow each other along a twisted 10-mile trail to the riverbed. Clouds of dust follow them as voices from the top fade away. Canyon visitors along the trail peer with curiosity at symbols of people and animals that were painted on a boulder by Havasupa Indians long ago. Havasupai still live in the canyon today, tending their flocks and farms in the summertime, hunting small game and gathering nuts and berries in the winter months. As the sun moves higher in the sky, smaller side canyons with rock layered like multicolor ribbons come into view. Bighorn sheep walk easily along the steep walls of the canyons, looking for food in hidden pockets of soil. Wildflowers stand around them in patches of purple and pink. The mules continue down the trail to the inner gorge. They carry their riders past layers of rock that display millions of years of Earth's geologic history. 
A canyon wren looks for bits of brush to line its nest hidden in a rocky crevice just off the trail. It searches for twigs and grasses up and down the canyon walls, flying past fossils of fish teeth and seashells. The noonday sun glistens on a hidden creek near a granary built into the canyon wall by Anasi Indians almost a thousand years ago. Squirrels chase through the now empty granary where crops and plants had been stored for food and trade. A lizard scurries off the trail. It climbs over fossils of prehistoric, prehistoric trilobites embedded in layers of shale million years ago when the land was covered by a primeval sea. After the mules pass, the lizard creeps out from its hiding place to soak up the warmth of the sun. The afternoon sun hangs low in the sky. A white-breasted knollhatch flies above beaver tail cacti along the rocky banks of the Colorado River. Its song drifts over the ancient pink, white, and gray rocks at the river's edge. The roots of the mountains that stood there almost two billion years ago. The water trembles over the cascading rapids while trout search for quieter streams in which to spawn. A ringtail cat drinks from the slower side stream, watching for predators up and down the red rocks and along the river nearby. Laughter echoes from a bunkhouse as weary riders and hikers share stories of their descent into the canyon. The endless cycle of eroding rock and moving water carved the Grand Canyon millions of years ago. Blustering wind and pounding rain continue to widen it, grinding down rocks that used to be mountains and volcanoes. The rushing Colorado River deepens this natural wonder, dragging rocks and mud along its path through ancient plains and lava flows. The mules rest for the night in a corral near the river, awaiting tomorrow's seven-hour trip back up to the top. Weather and erosion make tiny changes every day in the rocky walls along the trail. Millions of years into the future, the same forces of nature will continue to reshape the Grand Canyon, digging even deeper into the history of our planet. And that is the end of our story about the Grand Canyon. I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope that you enjoyed drawing your sketch notes to remember the important details of weathering and erosion shaping the Grand Canyon. Have a wonderful day.